next lesson on discipline that we are going to talk through is the first of many talking about stop losses. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with stop losses because you're new to trading, a stop loss is when you buy shares in the first place, you have a little option to insert a price for a stop loss. Now, this means that if the market comes down to that price, they will automatically sell your shares for you. Now, you don't have to be logged on to your computer. You could be at work, you could be on holiday. If your stop loss gets hit, so the price comes down to the price that you've named in your order, your shares will get sold. And stop losses are essential if you are a trader. If you are an investor, don't use a stop loss. There's no need. So, a lot of people use stop losses but necessarily don't know how to use them and end up making bad decisions and losses because they misuse the stop loss. So, we've got quite a few videos about stop loss placements and this is the first of many. Now, what we're going to talk about is stop loss placement on high priced assets. What we mean by this is shares that are sort of £10 per share, £15 per share and upwards because there's lots of companies out there you can spend £20 a share on. If we was to buy a share that costs £10 per share and also buy a share that costs 10 pence per share, what some traders might do on the 10 pence per share is put their stop loss at 9p. It doesn't sound like they're risking much, but they're actually risking 10%. Now on the 10 pounds per share, they might want to put their stop loss at 9 pounds 60, 9 pounds 50. They're not risking half as much as they are on the penny share. But psychologically, it seems like you're making a big risk when you're not. If you buy at £10 per share and put your stop loss at £9 per share, you are risking exactly the same amount as the 10 pence and 9 pence stop loss. So you must factor in this. As a price of an asset goes up, the swings become more wild. Because if something's going to go down by 2%, it has a big drop, whereas if you're buying something that's 5 pence per share, a 2% drop is peanuts, really. So you must factor that in when considering stop loss placements. If you've got quite a few shares in your portfolio, the higher price shares will probably swing more wild throughout the day. So do make allowances for this. If you put your stop loss too tight, you may have bought and Potentially the share is going higher, but if you set your stop loss tight, one of them swings might just take out your stop loss before the market goes higher. Now, don't shy away from higher priced assets because volatility is what traders need to make money. If there isn't no swings in price, then you're not going to be able to make money. Also, what we would say is if you are trading something that is a high price asset and the swings are violent, it does have a mixed blessing that you could actually be on the wrong side of the market that day, especially when trading things like gold on contract for difference accounts. You could be on the wrong side of the market and still get out because the swings are so violent. 